A Little Rock City Council candidate recovering tonight after she was caught in crossfire over the weekend. City leaders say it's another example of how gun violence impacts the whole city. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 60 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Loretta Hendricks is the daughter of Irma Hendricks, a longtime city council member who died last year. Our Andrew Epperson is live in Little Rock. And Andrew, this is kind of a scary situation when you think about it. I'm wondering how leaders reacted to this. Yeah, well, overwhelmingly, they are concerned for Loretta Hendricks. Now, she was shot in the leg. Friends say she's expected to recover. She's recovering now and doing okay relatively. But city leaders say this is just another example of that gun violence you talked about and that it can happen anywhere in the city to anybody. Kind of shocked and, and angry and um, obviously frustrated. These were Little Rock City Director Ken Richardson's emotions when he learned City Council candidate Loretta Hendricks was shot over the weekend. He thought that it was a result of some crossfire, some random gunfire, I don't know. A police report shows Hendricks was driving Saturday night when there was a shootout between two groups near 15th Street. She was shot in the leg, though police say she was not the target. I spoke with her. She was um, saying that she was trying to figure it out and trying to process. Hendricks didn't respond to phone calls and text messages asking for comment. That was emotional. I was saying that. Thank you, Director Richardson. Richardson says she's doing well. And before Tuesday's city council meeting, he said people need to be aware of what's happening around them. We need to make sure we're covering ourselves. We take cover and we're safe and secure. Because uh, anything comes up, it's going to have to come down somewhere. When Irma Hendricks died last year, Virgil Miller took over as city director in her seat. He plans to run for re-election in that seat as well. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, Fox 16 News.